HostGator recommends using W3 Total Cache to speed up the speed and performance of your WordPress powered website. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install as well as how to remove this plugin. Now keep in mind that we do not recommend using W3 Total Cache while using any other caching plugins inside of your WordPress website. This could cause activation issues as well as different types of performance issues with multiple plugins of the same nature fighting each other over which one does what. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's go to the plugins section and click on add new. Okay, so next we're going to click on the search plugins uh, text box and we're going to type in a few keywords. You can type in the whole address, but usually just typing W3 is enough to find it. Hit enter on your keyboard when you're ready to proceed. As you can see, the very first plugin that shows up in our search results is W3 Total Cache. We're going to click the install now button. And after a few seconds, the plugin is downloaded and installed into your WordPress installation. At this point, we can go ahead and activate the plugin. And we are ready to begin using it. Configuring the plugin is a little bit different. We're going to go into our menu area, scroll all the way to the bottom, and look for the performance tab. Let's uh, go to the main dashboard. Here we can see various options for W3 Total Cache. Okay, so let's take a look at the general settings. We're going to enable the page cache mode. We're also going to enable the database cache. going to enable the object cache mode and if you have a CDN you can always uh, make use of the CDN feature the other thing we should look at is the uh, minify cache method make sure you have disk selected and at this point we can click the all settings button and this takes care of all the recommended settings by, from HostGator naturally you can go in here and uh, tweak the settings to your liking Keep in mind that if you installed WordPress using Quick Install, the W3 Total Cache is already installed for you by default, so all you have to do is go in there and tweak the settings, and you're good to go.